how on earth do you suppose we take the derivative of this x to the 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 x up forever, like an infinite tower of exponents of x's? Maybe you're used to doing just x to the x with logarithmic differentiation, and so maybe you think that's pretty much how we're going to do it, and that is what I'm going to do in this video, sort of. But the first thing we should do is maybe see if we can rewrite this in something we can actually do because right now it's just an infinite tower of x exponents and I don't know how to algebraically work with that. So let's take a second, let's just define this as y. I'll call y this thing, just so it looks like we're having some equations going on, and I'm going to take the derivative of y, y prime or dy over dx if you like. What's interesting about this, this stacked x is going up and up forever is that it has a sort of repetition to it. I mean, if I told you that we were only looking at this function without this first x, just say it was um, one less x in the base but still going up forever, would you be able to see any difference in this function? Well, no, because it still goes up and up forever. And so the idea here is that the exponent part, which ascends forever, that's still y when I say that y is x to that thing. So the trick here is to rewrite this as y equals x to the y. Because that's really what's going on here. If we stuck y in for this y, it would just give us the ascending tower of x's. So this is pretty interesting. There's a, a little bit of back and forth going on here. But now the idea is we can take the derivative no problem. And no problem, I mean take the ln of both sides, and do logarithmic differentiation. So I'll just rewrite this, ln of y, we'll drop the y down according to those properties of logarithms, so y natural log x, and now let's go ahead, we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So think implicit differentiation here. The derivative of natural log y, well, whatever's on the inside goes in the bottom, the derivative goes on top. So you could say dy over dx, I'll just say y prime, and then on the right, we have a product rule. The derivative of y, that is y prime, that's times ln x. We have plus, copy the y, the derivative of natural log x with respect to x is 1 over x. Now y prime, that's the answer. So we're going to put all the y primes on one side, everything else on the other side. So let's just subtract y prime here. And in fact, if you subtracted a y prime, maybe I'll just be slick and write it like, that, how you like that? Not too shabby. If I just move that over. We could factor out this y prime, couldn't we? It's a GCF, it's a greatest common factor. There's a 1 over y minus ln x here. This equals y over x. And so at this point, to actually solve for y prime, we'll just divide by whatever's next to it. So it looks like y prime will be y over x all over 1 over y minus ln of x. And maybe we could rewrite this um, a little bit better. I see an over x in the denominator here, so let's just write that as over x in that denominator. And to get rid of the additional fraction in the denominator, let's just multiply by a y over y. So we'll write an even better answer here. Let's write this cleaned up as y times y is y squared. These y's would cancel out to get x minus xy natural log x. That is the derivative of this tower function, which is pretty interesting, I think. Now, if you wanted to get extra creative, I suppose since we started with just x's, you could replace x to the x to the x to the x forever. Wherever you see a y in this expression, I don't know how pretty that would look. That would be like x to the x to the x forever, you know, all squared over x minus x times x to the x to the x. I can't even write it. It's a, a bit much. Now, if you want to see another interesting problem, click the video right here. I picked it out just for you, and I think you'll enjoy it. I'll see you in that one.